welcome to my YouTube channel. This is $400 worth of items I purchased within one night because I was anxious and depressed. Unless you are rich, I do not recommend doing so. But I'm going to unbox everything and do a first impressions for all of you guys to see in case any of you are interested in checking them out. A lot of these things are kind of TikTok viral. I'm super excited to open them all. If I don't like something, I will return them because I don't know about you, but $400 in one night is kind of alarming. As always, I will have everything linked in my storefront or in the description box below. Let's go. So first, I kind of need a sneak peek into what all of this is. Okay, I've opened everything. I've organized them into categories. First, we're gonna start with clothes. First is this jumpsuit. This is from the OQQ store. Oh, I did not think that it was going to, like, I thought this part was shorts, not long pants. Oh, okay, that's definitely not what I was expecting. I would rather have it be like a biker short kind of jumpsuit and not like a leggings kind of jumpsuit. And it's only hand wash only, so I don't know if this is gonna be a keep. I mean, it says it's squat proof, moisture wicking material. This is in a size small, $34.99. Then we have these girl size flare leggings from the brand Iuga. This brand has actually reached out to me via email before, but it just didn't get anywhere. But I purchased this girl flare leggings. I hope they fit. They look like they will. I got it in um, black size 15 to 16 year olds. This might even, be more on the looser side. Um, it's a mixture of nylon and spandex. Four and a half star ratings. And this was only $20. I love that it has a little circle logo in the back. It kind of gives like Lululemon dupe. So I'll insert a picture of me trying it on here. But the material on this feels really nice and comfortable and it has pockets. Okay, so these are pants that I purchased to wear to work. They're very like dressy, but you can dress them down. They're basically slacks. Um, this is from the brand Sweaty Rocks. This was $30. I got it in a size extra small. It's very, definitely feels like dress pants, you know, very thin and flowy and airy. It also has some weight to it, so it should keep its structure. 100% polyester, not the best reviews. It's okay, three and a half stars, 2,000 reviews. It does have pockets, so that is nice. I like to wear flare slacks to work these days. I have it in black and cream, and I wanted work pants so I can have a longer laundry day stretch. They're not really flare in my opinion. They're just like straight slacks to me. So I also got it in cream as well because I like to wear black and cream or I'm allowed to wear like black and cream slash khaki colored pants to work. I just need to figure out where it is. Okay, here we go. For some reason, the cream one is more expensive than the black one. This one was $31.99. Same material, same everything. Um, let's see. It's not really see-through. I feel like maybe if you had like black underwear, you might be able to see through, but here we go. Yeah, it's barely see-through. Same exact thing, just a little bit more expensive. Moving on, Lululemon dupes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is from the gym people. They're quick dry shorts with mesh liner zipper pockets. This is what the front looks like. They're apparently high-waisted, and the back is what really got me. I love that little detail right here of this little flap kind of look. Yeah, it reminds me of Lululemon shorts. Um, yes, definitely moisture-wicking fabric. Um, I don't see the lining you're talking about. Oh, I see. Here's the lining inside. It's like an underwear kind of lining, not like a short kind of lining. So you won't really see it peeking through on the sides. Um, but yes, the material is kind of see-through though, in my opinion. Just a tad. So this was expensive, honestly. I got it in white, size small. This is $22.99. So $23 for this pair of pants. I would at least like it to be kind of see not see-through. It does come with a pocket in the back there. So you can keep like your keys and whatnot. But this has over 6,000 ratings. I guess because it is a Lululemon dupe. So it's very popular, four and a half stars. Next, Lululemon dupe, what do you think it is? If you guessed scuba, you're right. So I got an Amazon scuba. I contemplated this because it's almost spring, summer and I'm scared like I'm not really gonna have a chance to wear it much, but I got it anyway because I've been eyeing scubas on Amazon for months now and it just looks so good. So this is from the brand Boniti, Boniti? I'm not sure. It's fleece lined, it has a collar, hoodie, half zip or quarter zip um, and it is cropped. The material is kind of okay in my opinion. The fleece just seems like 
honestly, it's giving like a regular Hanes crew neck kind of material. We'll have to try it on and see how it looks. I think it would look really cute with the shorts. So I'll insert a clip of me trying it on there. I think this would definitely be very warm. The sleeves are kind of long, which I like, but I got it in a size, I got mine in a size small, army green. It does come in different colors. This was $35.99, so again, pricey. It's nothing special, honestly. And there's only like 50 reviews, so this has yet to be discovered by a lot of people. Next is another work outfit item. I have to wear it red, and I like to put on a red vest because it allows me to just like wear with anything, essentially. I could wear any top and not just a red shirt. And I hate wearing the same things over and over again, so I like to get creative with my outfits. And let me show you the red vest that I have right now. So I also got this red vest off of Amazon. It's a cropped red puffer vest. It comes with this drawstring here so you can cinch it to make it more cropped or you can let it loose. And the cinching is to like keep air out and all that and just look kind of cute. I love the collar because when worn, it pretty much lays flat and it doesn't really stand up right here and interfere with like my chin. And if I'm moving around, I don't want my makeup smearing on my collar. So I really like this one that it lays flat so that I don't get my makeup stuck on there. However, I did get stains on it just from like spilling coffee on it or whatnot. It's kind of getting hot now that spring and summer is coming, so I was looking for a different alternative. Not a lot of options, <laughs> but I did find this one. This is actually for men's. It seems to be a little bit thinner, but it definitely looks big. So I got it in a small. It comes in different colors. Of course, I chose red. The material, everything's polyester from the puffer to the lining to the filling. Everything's polyester. You can throw it in the wash, which I love. It comes with two outside pockets and an inner pocket on the inside. $26.99. It is very big though, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't like big and bulky, but I'll insert a picture of me trying it on. Moving on. This is what I'm most excited about the Amazon Viral Puffer Tote Bag. Very interesting that it is packed in this very slim box and it's so light, you guys. Like, it's like the same weight as this vest. So that's kind of nice. It is advertised as super lightweight. This is from the brand Sad Drop. Comes in different colors. I chose gray. Really wanted the white or cream one, but I think I would get that really dirty because I plan to use this as like my new work bag. And I shoved that thing in my locker and the lockers are really gross there. But this was $35.99. It was the cheapest puffer tote that I could find on Amazon. Most of them range from a 40 to $45. Okay, I can feel structure, which I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, it's definitely a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Maybe that's why it's $35.99. It's like there's a rod in here almost. Not a rod, but like a strip of cardboard around the top lining, which is kind of... I don't know how I feel about that yet. So this is what it looks like. It's not bad, honestly. Now that I look at it, I mean, it's it looks small compared to what I see on TikTok, but I think I like it smaller because holding it next to me, it looks very proportionate. It's polyester and cotton. Everything's polyester, but the filling inside is cotton. Super lightweight with the fabric material being polyester. It makes it tear resistant. Um, you can wipe it. It says it comes with two pockets inside and one large pocket. You just have two small pockets on the walls here, and then you have one large pocket in the back wall and then just a big empty space there you can wear it three ways so you can wear it like so or you can wear it like this and they also said you can wear it as a crossbody um but i don't see any straps in here so what are you talking about hmm yeah there's like no straps in here so i don't know what you're talking about accessories okay next we have these flower claw clips this is from the ivu store they're advertised as meant for thick hair they do not look like they're thick hair friendly it comes with six pieces i chose neutrals there's also different color options they would go with most hair types i'll insert a picture but i'm just gonna try it on right now even i'm just gonna do a half up these are not that big cute should i leave it on for the rest of the video you get six of them for ten dollars they're 9.99 i quite like them i got more claw clips i don't know about you but i'm always searching for claw clips like you would search for bobby pins in your house like it's ridiculous i also found these flat 
cloth lips because I don't know about you but I get this problem where I love to wear cloth lips I don't like tying my hair in ponytails because I don't like the tension on my hair however I can't lean back on anything when I have a cloth lip on I can't lay down in bed comfortably because it's just poking my pillow I can't even sit in the car without it running into the headrest so I found these flat cloth lips the name's kind of funny they're called duck build hair clips these are from the a honey store the listing price is $12.99 but I got them on sale for $7.99 and you get eight of them I chose again neutrals but it does come with this pastel yellow that really looks more green in my opinion like in real life right here looking at me it looks more green than yellow but it comes with the yellow brunette brown black and this like tan light brown color. Let's do a test. I'll insert a picture of me trying it on here, but let's see if it does lay flat. First impressions, I don't think this could hold all of my hair up. I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna do like this. And, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's secure? Hold on, I'm gonna lay down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you can lay down. And th this is a yes for me, I'm keeping these. Totally keeping these. Does it look good in the back though? If it looks ugly, I don't know if I'll keep it, but I like this. These are a yes for me, flat. You could work out in these, like, well, maybe. <laughs> this is definitely flat approved moving on anxiety fidget rings as i mentioned before i placed this order on a night where i was very anxious and depressed and this was the first thing that i searched for so these are fidget anxiety rings they're stainless steel of course i only wear stainless steel or sterling silver prefer to be stainless steel because it's just low maintenance doesn't turn your finger green i like to wear my stuff in the water i never take it off and stainless steel is a good option for that you're not gonna believe this you get 16 rings six rings for just $17 that's insane that's like a dollar a ring that's actually insane I got into size 6 anyways here's the ring one and you can spin it around like all of these you can spin them around I don't plan on keeping all of this so I might sell the rest or something Ooh, I really like this one I don't know if you can see they're so cute and they come with like these ones with little balls in them i like i don't need this many but so along the lines of work again let me show you the lanyard that i currently use for work so i got this lanyard from five below it's super cute it has strawberries on it and on here for work i have my airpods my hand sanitizer and a box cutter this is also from amazon i'll have it listed on my storefront as well and it's so cute and i just i need these things on me at all times and i wear it every single day five days a week and i've noticed i don't know if we'll be able to see but i don't know i was filming a get ready with me the other day and when i turned around to tie up my hair i saw like black marks on the back of my neck and i thought oh my gosh i think that's coming from my lanyard because like this lanyard is poking my neck every day and it's honestly uncomfortable but i just put up with it but if it's leaving marks on me and bruises then i don't want to do that anymore so i thought of a different alternative i'm just going to ditch the whole lanyard and i found a belt key ring instead i don't know if this is going to work and if it's going to be able to hold everything but we'll see it's also retractable so if i need to use my box cutter for example i can pull it use it and just slide it back so this is from the brand Keysmart. Not much to say about it. It is a small business. Um, it was only $3.25 and this is how it retracts. That's as far as it retracts. I'd say about two feet, which is all I need, honestly. And it comes with the key ring like this, or you could like slide it in kind of like a paper clip. And then this is the AirPods case that I use. I've been using silicone AirPods cases. I got this one off Wish. I have a strawberry one from Five Below, but they're all silicone and they get so dirty. I've had this for maybe two weeks now and it is just so dirty already. I don't know if the camera could pick it up. So I'm just like ditching silicone AirPods cases and I just want like a clear plastic one. So I found this one on Amazon. It's from the Airspo store. Soft TPU material, comes with the keychain. The only issue that I could see with this clear case is it's probably gonna get yellow, but I'd rather have that than having it collecting dust and nasty stuff. You know, at least I can wipe this down. This is only $6.99, but it does come with like a 15% off coupon at checkout. So it just brought it down to like it just brought it down a dollar 7,000 reviews I'm gonna go ahead and try and put that on now boop lovely oh uh-oh hold up uh-oh 
I'm gonna tell you, if this lid can't stay on, it's a return. But it looks so much better if this lid can't stay on. I, it's good for the most part. Why are these so tiny? <laughs> so these are faux pearl earrings with a stainless steel backing from the jewelry shop. These are only $7.99 and you get five pairs. Very light, this feels like absolutely nothing. It feels like toothpicks. Oh, okay, so this is what they look like. Very small. They're just a plain stick, pearl on a stick. Plain pearls on a stick. Some of these are really tiny, wow. So $7.99, they also have in a black pearl as well. Sizes range from a three, four, five, six, seven mm. Moving on, this is the last accessory item. This is a furo shiki, which is basically the cloth that you wrap like jumping, jump in these the cloth that you wrap Japanese bento boxes in I currently have two but I want one that's bigger and I want one that'll go with my new <laughs> puffer tote that I take to work because sometimes sometimes not all the time I take bento boxes to work and I wrap them in a furoshiki but the ones that I have are kind of old and dirty this one is like double the size so this was $15.99 and it's reversible. It's navy blue or if you reverse it, it's green, right? I love the contrast about that. I usually have patterned ones and I like that this is just a plain solid color, but I thought I was gonna get only one cloth for $15.99 and thought, wow, that's kind of expensive, but that's kind of like just all the prices that I see. And this one looked good and it was large, but I, to my surprise, no, you come with three. So this is definitely well worth the money. I don't know what the material is. It just says made out of paper, which obviously I don't think this is made out of paper, but I thought it would look cute with my new coat like I love that it comes with three so it's like when one gets dirty toss it in the wash and while that's washing you have extras moving on to hygiene Prada. so I didn't get a lot honestly the first thing I got was a refill of the sunscreen that I use this is by far my favorite sunscreen it's the Etude house sun prize mild airy finish sunscreen this has spf 50 plus and pa plus 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 i don't know what the pa pluses mean oil free non-sticky doesn't leave a white cast i can wear it with my makeup no problem it doesn't pill when it comes into contact with my makeup 100 mineral ingredients so good for sensitive skin which i have acne prone oily sensitive skin so this one is perfect for me 20 plant ingredients and this is 12 dollars for 55 milliliters and this lasts me a couple months. Over 10,000 reviews, you guys. This really is good. Four and a half stars. This one is a new one for me. This is also from the brand Etude House, but it's the Sun Jung. Sun Jung. Sun Jung. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But it's the two times barrier intensive cream. Panthenol strengthens your skin barrier and maintains moisture in the skin. I don't know how to say that, Madame Castle Bar. It soothes and repairs irritated skin. So I think this is a good dupe for the La Roche Posay Cicaplast Bomb B5. I don't know what the ingredients in that is, but that's also like a therapeutic intensive barrier cream as well. So I thought this would also be a good dupe for that. At the time that I purchased it, it was cheaper because this was on sale. This is only $14.50, which the La Roche Posay one is basically $15 for the small tube. This one you get 60 ml, 4,000 reviews, four and a half stars. Super excited to try this. Then I got this one day whitener. This is the Nella one day whitener lotion. It's essentially a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer for the body. I would never put this on my face. It says you can, but I would never put it on my face because I will probably break out. It's advertised as a tone up for the skin. I mean, hey, if y'all can tan, I can brighten, okay? This was $19. Yeah, kind of pricey. I guess it's a big bottle of makeup. And then the last thing in my hygiene category is this tongue scraper. I actually got this weeks ago, but it's been sitting in its package because I just wanted to film an unboxing. From the brand Master Medi, I've been wanting a tongue scraper for a while now, but I hate brushing my tongue with my toothbrush because I will gag like crazy. So this comes with a pack of two. I love that it has a flexible bendy shape. It's easier to use, easy to manipulate. It has an extra wide scraping head, which is supposedly supposed to help to have less of a gag reflex. There are different shapes and designs from this brand at different prices, but I chose this one because I think it's just the most versatile, but they have different options for you. This is only $9.99. And then the last category, activities. The weather's nice. I used to exercise in the morning 
it was honestly a phase and I loved it but then my yoga mat that I bought I got my yoga mat from Ross and it was very thin and it tore and everywhere I, I carried it it would leave tiny little specks of of the rubber it was terrible like I could barely I couldn't do any workouts on it especially with my shoes on because it would just tear up the material and I never purchased a new one and so I never exercised again <laughs> so I got another one this was pricey. Compared to the yoga mats you can find at like Ross or TJ Maxx, this is definitely pricey, but I'll tell you why. They have yoga mats similar to this at Target with this thick, and I think even Target is way more expensive, but this is one inch thick. Look how thick that is. Um, I did find a yoga mat at TJ Maxx and 12mm was the size and it was only $12.99 so I said I would come back here and compare it to this which is one inch and I googled it 12mm is only half an inch right so I guess this is thicker and I want a thicker one because I want it to be able to be super soft for me to lay down on because I do have back pain joint pain the one that I had from Ross was so thin like laying down literally hurt it felt like I was laying down on the hard floor so I wanted something soft comes with a nylon strap so you can carry it around and non-slip grip free of harsh chemicals it says $35 $35. I'm gonna go walk around TJ Maxx and see if I could find one that is as thick as this for cheaper. If I can't, then I will keep this. And then the last thing I got is so random, but I went to, to my relative's friend's house the other day and she has pet parrots and she had these Link toys for them and I saw those and I said, Huh? Not in my gift, me. <laughs> my gift is basically Thai Jack. It's a game, but these are rainbow links. They're bird toys, um, but you link them together into small little clusters and you play with them like you would play with jacks. The rules are a little bit different, but I was obsessed with playing these when I lived in Thailand. I played this with my cousin, classmates. We had a whole collection that we would bring and play. Like, I love these. So I saw when I saw those, I immediately ordered them off of Amazon because I wanted to play with them. This comes with 200 pieces, but obviously you're gonna have to link them up. This is only $7.99. That includes my ginormous Amazon haul. Yeah. Ooh, that was a lot looking at this pile in front of me. Let me know what your favorite item was down below. Would you purchase any of these items? As I mentioned in the beginning, everything will be listed in my Amazon storefront or in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I film hauls and vlogs. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah.